Welcome to West End. Britain is one of the most racially diverse countries in the, in the world because the government have allowed people from different countries to come into the UK and allow them to become a citizen of the United Kingdom. Immigration has become a controversial topic amongst many of the UK's inhabitants, with many people having different opinions on the situation. This documentary is targeted at local areas such as Ashton um, because there are many people who are divided into racial groups and are preventing themselves from coming together as a community. Um, I'm here today with Lauren to talk about her issue on West End. So, Lauren, what is your main issue that you have with West End? Okay, well, it started when my mum wanted to move house because we live in a small house in a white area and they built some new houses, you know, in the Asian area West End and my mum asked if she could have one of the houses and they said that no because it's for Asians only. Do you think that this is mainly like the government's fault? Um, possibly because, you know, they should be putting us in separate areas. Like, they should be all mixed together. They shouldn't be segregated from each other. And like, that's the main issue, like, of diversion, isn't it? Yeah. Um, would you feel like comfortable if you did live in West End now? <clears throat> Probably not, because you can't even walk through there without getting nasty glares and horrible comments off certain people and it just you wouldn't feel comfortable you wouldn't feel like you feel like you're out of place like you don't belong it's just like brown west end that yeah that we're talking about yeah um but like when you go into west end do you feel intimidated by the people who well live there? personally i feel like i couldn't walk through there on my own with without getting snide remarks or dirty looks off the elderly Asian women yeah. and you feel uncomfortable, you feel like oh you shouldn't be walking through the area, like you're intruding, it's not nice. I mean I've, I know that the, there's a youth centre right yeah. there and they like try to do everything that they can with like people coming together. Yeah. Do you think it's, do you think that they should keep having them sessions on for kids and stuff? Um, well, the kids mainly around there are the worst for the racist comments, I think. And it's like, they've obviously got it from somewhere, so it's definitely going to be from their parents, yeah. So, I don't think that these youth centres are like helping, yeah. Um, well, do you think that we can change the way people think? Not like, now. No. I think it's too late now. To change anything because like people are in their own ways now aren't they yeah well how did you feel when they said that there was for asians only because i was born here so i should be allowed to live where i want to live yeah. we shouldn't be like that's like oh you can't live here because it's for whites only that would be made a big issue yeah. like i know it would but for them to say that we just left it it was like okay you know that's fine but it shouldn't be like that. Um, thank you for your time. So, hi everyone. Hi. Um, do you like working at Ashton All Stars? Do you send to West End? I've been working here. I've been living in this area for the past, for all my life. Here lived here and I've worked with children with spy uh, and spy martial arts for the past uh, eight to nine years. Uh, what do you hope to achieve in these sessions at home training center? Well my achievement here is to get the children off the streets, off the streets around the corners uh, where they're doing nothing mischievous. Um, just hanging around with their friends or doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Uh, in this area, the pastor has a, a, a background of uh, drugs, violence, uh, and behaviour against 
long the kid is there. Uh, so, um, <laughs> so, do you think like, that these sessions have brought a mix of people together? It has. Uh, by bringing these children off the streets, mixed race, Asians and non Asians, white people, bring them off the road, bring them in the area, bring them in the community, in, in this community as well, get them to work together with one another, to become partners with each other, to do things, uh, activities together, to interact with one another. And break that barrier of racism that we have between ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's a for the as well. Do you think that having a church at the back of you so to, uh, can cause conflict? No. Do you think that Western is a diverse place to live in? Yes, it is. I believe it is a diverse place. There, there's a lot of things here that they, they, they want the community to get together and make it like I said. Asians and non-Asians or white people of all backgrounds to come together, to work together and to send a message out there that we are one community, there's no uh, difference between one community to the other, we're not separate, we're not you know, living separate to other people, we are living together, we work together. Um, do you think that if Ashton does close down, do you think that um, people will be more separated, go back to their old ways? possible and uh, that there's that chance it can happen. I mean right now there's a reason like these we spy martial arts or all spy and there's actually no stars. There's something up here for, for the children, for the community to come together. There's a reason for it, you know, to play out and you know, about to do activities. But when there isn't nothing like this, then it, there's a possibility it can go back back to as it used to be. Do you think the youth centre can have has broken down like barriers between White West End and Brown West End, how they say it? Yes, yes, I believe that they have because they used to be in the West End, they just white only and in this area used to be brown, brown people only or Asian or black people only. Well, they broke this barrier where they've come together. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So, this subject may change with the time, as the ways of the last generation begin to fade. Until then, all we can do is do our individual bit to bring about that change a little bit.